All right, uh, we continue with um, uh, practice four. Next problem, problem seven. Uh, Miss Lane f spent five nines of her money on 10 stuffed bears and five dolls. She could buy 20 stuffed bears with the rest of her money. What was the ratio of the cost of a doll to the cost of a stuffed bear? All right, very easy. First, to draw your model. Right, she, she, they tell us, Miss Ling spent five ninths of her money. So this is your fraction, word problems, remember? And you draw your, how many? Nine units, right? And you have your five. Five is the ten stuffed bears. So I'm not gonna write stuffed. Ten bears, five dolls. They tell us uh, she could buy 20 stout bears with the rest of her money, right? So this rest, four units, four units is 20 bears, 20 bears, all right? So if four units is 20 bears, right, then one unit is how much? The pen a little bit lags. Okay, it is five, well, 20 divided by 4. Okay, it's 5. 5 bears. Alright, so now we're looking at this part. This part. Yeah, we're looking at this part. These 5 units. Right, we know that 1 unit is 5 bears. Right, so if this is 5 bears, this is 5 bears. These 3 units, these 3 units here is 5 dollars. Right? Okay, I hope this one is clear. So, this is what we write. Uh, three units is five dolls. Doll, dolls. Okay? Oops. Alright, so the cost of five dolls is three times the cost of five stuffed bears, right? Here. One unit of money is five bears and three units is five dolls so one bear and one doll still the ratio is the same it's one to three right i'm gonna write it down for you all right uh, the cost of five dolls is three times the cost of five bears and uh, the ratio was three to one all right, this is easy. Next one, the figure is made up of two circles, P and Q, okay, and they overlap. So the ratio of the area of circle P to the area of circle Q is three to two, okay? This is three to two, okay? The shaded part is five eighths of circle Q. This shaded part is five eighths. So this part is four eight. Oh, sorry, three eight, right? Okay, of the area. What is the ratio of the unshaded area of the figure? All right, we can uh, we can figure it out. So let's calculate our units first, right? So if the shaded area is five eight, and this uh, the whole circle. And then shaded is 3 eighths, the whole circle will be 8 eighths, right? So the small circle will be 8 units, right? Small circle will be 8 units. So the circle, circle Q, right? 8 units. So we need to find out how many units will be circle P. And we have the ratio, right? So circle, circle P to circle Q, circle Q. Uh, relates as 3 to 2, right? If the circle Q is 8 units, then how many units is circle P, right? So then we find our relationship. We need to multiply here by 4, so if we multiply this side by 4, 2, that's gonna be what? That's gonna be 12. <coughs> okay? Alright, so number of units for the figure, for the whole figure, this unit, right? is the what circle p 12 units plus circle q 8 units minus the shaded area the shaded area is over here 5 8 5 units right 
So for the figure, it will be 15 units. Uh, I need to I need to write it here, right for you. Number of um, units, number of units for the figure. All right. Now, now, what is the number of units for the unshaded part? Number of units for the unshaded part. Unshaded part, right? And we need to remove it again. So it is 15, the total figure, minus again 5 units, right? Five, this 5 over 8, this 5 over 8. Okay, and that's gonna be 10 units. 10 units. Now they ask us a question, what is the ratio of unshaded area of the figure to the area of the figure, to the whole area of the figure? Well, that's very simple, we just found out, right? 15 units and 10 units, right? So, okay, I'm gonna kind of write it here. Unshaded, unshaded to figure. Unshaded is 10, figure is 15, right? How do you simplify it? You divide it by five. And uh, divide both parts, divide both parts by five, right? So that's gonna be, three and it's going to be two and that's your ratio uh, the ratio is two to three unshaded to the total figure two to three all right that's it let's move on